Hey guys, another day on the Polara. Uh, today what we want to do is change out the lift pump. I've done the oil change, but I don't want to run it up until I've put a new pump in because um, diaphragm is uh, gone in the um, in the old lift pump. So I am not going to be pumping petrol into the into the oil, and I've just changed it, obviously. So uh, right, so yeah, let's uh, let's get on with it. Sort with George, lovely. Well, unfortunately, I didn't have the camera running when I was trying to get the fuel pipe off of the uh, old lift pump, and uh, it uh, the the end that screwed in there decided to actually rip off of the uh, actually rip off of the pipe. It didn't even twist, and it basically left me just with this. So um, yeah, that uh, that put pay to yesterday. Um, so what I done, I went up to see a good friend of mine. And um, he had some pipe, and uh, we cleaned out the inside of this union here, and uh, we've now put that on the new one. So we're ready to go, ready to carry on now. So unfortunately, it was completely wasted yesterday, but never mind. And because this is a different thread, it's uh, American fraction. It's not the British standard size. I would have a lot of aggro getting one of these within five minutes over here. So, um, yeah, so we just made up some pipe and uh, right, so we're ready to crack on. Right, got the old one out, obviously, and here's the new one. Now, if you look, the arms are slightly different, but it really doesn't matter one iota because when you put these two together, like this part to this part here so long as this pitch as you can see the mark you can see the witness marks on here so long as this pitch is the same which it is then it's fine it makes no difference whatsoever there you go as long as the pitch is the same then you're fine so it doesn't really matter if it's if it's uh swelled out like that or whether it's straight it's just different manufacture that's all as long as that pitch is the same you'll be fine so George what i like to do as well just purely as a, just to hold it in place. I'd just like to put a little bit of the old uh, copperies on it. And what all you do, I just put it around the gasket and then it tends to stick it nicely and I haven't got to mess about with the gasket again. Surfaces are nice and clean down there, so. Right, away we go. Right, here we go, bolts are all cleaned up. Gasket's on, and we're ready to go. Should be able to. Lovely, look at that. That's great. Right, I've just put a bit of copper ease on the on this pipe on the inside there because that was what caused the problem last time. Obviously, it's seized and, and just rusted together. So, a bit of copper ease on the inside plus on the thread. And let's just put this little bit in. That'll uh, nice and tight. And that'll crush that down as well, so that's nice. That'll be a nice tight fit in there now. Sort with George. Lovely. Right, here we go. Right, just to finish off this last little bit. Come on. That's nipped up. Lovely. Right, we've got 5 16 fuel line going down to the bottom from the tank. And you know, obviously this one's coming up. Chuck around the back where it was, to a nice new fuel filter, and then going on up to the carb. Right, before we do anything else, let's uh, put the rad back in. Lovely. Right, let's put the radiator in, shall we? Talk with George. We've got the uh, two bolts in down the bottom, which will take the, take the weight. I can't see. That one, and that's that one. Lovely. Put that one in. Managed to uh, get all four bolts now, not just three. Right, that's them four done up. 
I'm just going to go down and do these. Now we'll do transmission cooler lines. Right, everything's all connected up. You've got the two transmission lines down there connected up. Uh, top hose, bottom hose. That's in secure. No, it's in secure, not insecure, but it's, it's fixed in secure. <laughs> Right, let's top this up with some anti-threes and some water uh, and give her a go. Sorted. The state of that. Good God. Put no one in charge. That's better. So you can breathe. Right, let's change over this starter solenoid as well. Loosen that one off. And pull that off. Pull that off. Right. Okay, shall we? See what happens. Well, we're just giving it a quick, uh, quick boost with the trusty Merc, as you do. So, uh, get a bit of charge in the battery, and we, we'll, uh, we'll have another go. Right, let's give it another go. Well, we've got to go in. I just want the uh, hydraulic lifters to get full up with oil rather than what was in there. Because I know what was in there was obviously the uh, thinned down petrol stuff in there. Sort of George, like